In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, add the login, logout, and email confirmation functions to your Ruby on Rails application. I am using uh, Ruby Mine as an IDE. We have uh, Rails version 6.0.3.2, and uh, I will be using the dev uh, device uh, gem and a gmail account to do the email confirmation so let's create our application this is prob probably going to take a couple of minutes so i'll be back when it's done so now we have our uh, rails application if we run this application We will be able to visit the localhost. Let's refresh. Oh, let's open another tab. Localhost 3000. You are on Rails. So everything is working fine until now. So we find ourselves directly in the gem file. We need to add that device gem. There it is. And we need to install this gem by running bundle install. Fantastic. Then Rails G for generate device install. And here it tells us what we have to do next. So we have to go to config environments development to RB and Write this down under action mailer exactly here. This will allow allow us to do to uh, to send emails from our development environment. After that, we have this is not very important. Telling us to have a, a, a root um, route. It's not super important right now. So ensure you have flash messages. We have to copy these classes in our app view layouts application.html.rb erb. And after that we have to generate our tables. So Rails G device user module. Uh, sorry model. User one user, not users with a capital U. So we have now our migrations ready. Oh, I typed uh, instead of a G. Okay, so we have now, let's, come on, here you are, now we have our migration ready, and we have to uncomment confir confirmable, here, these, that means we are adding these columns to our uh, table, Confirmation token um, or token, confirmed add, confirmation sent add, and unconfirmed email. After that, we have to run Rails DB migrate. So, this will create our uh, schema. Very good, here it is. After that, we have to go to user.rb and copy this right here. All right, now we have to tell device which email uh, it should use when it tries to send emails. So we have to go to environment rb you can find it here under 
config environment and you have to paste this here exactly let's add control l to refactor everything to reformat everything you want to say and here you have to write your email and your password the email's password i'm going to do that and i will be right back when i'm done now i have wrote my uh, email and my password in the environment.rb now we have to do one more thing about our uh, email account our uh, gmail account so we have to visit this URL I'm going to write it down in the video description that there it is so you have to go to this URL and allow the secure apps and you have to turn this on after that you will be able to send emails this is a security feature from google so now if we run our application okay let's try to refresh this page it's working if we go to users sign up this is our email we're going to sign in with or sign up with uh, let me copy it put the password sign up so if we look in RubyMine, the console, we will see that it had tell us that it added an email to the uh, database and it this is the basically the email that it sent. So if everything worked fine, we should now receive an email. Here it is. Welcome. You can confirm your uh, account here by clicking here. You will confirm your email. So if we try now to sign in with this email get the password it will tell us you have to confirm your email address before continuing confirm my account let's try to log in again and we're in thank you guys for watching if you find this helpful please give a like